Just, just on that, Rob. Mm-hmm. Um, before we move on, um, Terry Venables. Just want to talk about Terry Venables oh, dying yeah. on Saturday yeah, yeah, yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Former uh, Tottenham manager mm-hmm. and player, mm-hmm. uh, notably was you know was seen as, as, as shining light for England mm-hmm. and, and got England to the Euro semi finals yeah. in 1996. Yeah. Uh, 91 cup with his Spurs and, and I know you had six months with him at, oh. at Middlesbrough and, and oh. I mean I co- you couldn't talk higher uh, oh. of a coach than you talked to Terry so really sad day um, yeah it's so a sad personal day. memories mate oh just great ones great mm. ones by far the best coach I ever worked with Rob and, and I'll say like when, you, when you're a kid and you, and you dream about being a professional player and you think about being a pro training mm. you know and what that's going to look like his training sessions and what he did on the field with us uh, uh, tactically yeah yeah this is what i i have expected to happen but i didn't see that in my nearly 20 years only those six months with terry venables mm. did i work with a coach that i was like wow he's teaching me something here yeah. by the way i'm learning stuff and by the way it wasn't easy to to take on board it's quite complicated yeah. And he literally, when the ball is there, you move here as he moves here. Then you spread out. Then I want you on the back post covering your central defender. Even as a wing back, he got me yeah. doing that. Yeah. And then, so he, he was a brilliant tactician and, and a real quick story. And, and of course, my, 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 my Borough fans will know this. We were rock bottom, Rob, with Middlesbrough in League, yeah. 99 or 2000. Yeah. Rock bottom. And Terry Venables was asked to come in by our chairman to assist and help out the club and the team and the manager. Coach us out of trouble after we had meetings, crisis meeting at the club with our current staff, and we are this, and why aren't you doing this, et cetera, et cetera. And and they asked the the, the team, what do you think, right? And I I wasn't a big voice in the dressing room. I'm I'm not a loud type of guy, but I have an opinion. Mm -hmm. And I stuck my hand up in that meeting and I said, you know what, Gaffer? I just think we should be more, by the way, this is before Venables, so if I make yeah. that clear, like when, okay, we're, when we're bottom yeah. of the league table, mm-hmm. and it's Brian Robson and Viv Anderson yeah. and, uh, and Gordon McQueen, God bless him. Um, and I just said, you know what? I feel we, 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 we should be more organized, more groups are on the same page. If think something goes wrong, we know who did it. We know where we go. We know what we're trying to do. I got, I got, I got shouted down by the staff. Yeah. What do you want us to do? Move yeah. you around like Sabutio men, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Grow up, you, you know, I take and I'm like, I put my hands yeah, up. Yeah. Okay, just yeah. that that's that's my opinion. thought on yeah. it. And I don't take any pride in this or anything. And I'm not trying to, you know, say that I was right or whatever. A few weeks after that, nothing improved. Mm. We got yelled at every game and Terry Venables came in and he wasn't assisting anybody. Mm. Move them to the side. Let me coach the team. Yeah. Never raised his voice one time, one time, mm. but got us on the training ground. And what did he do? He moved us around like yeah, Sabutio yeah, men. Yeah. You move here. I want you in this position. And to be fair, right, I wasn't. I wasn't really in his best eleven. So he, he because of the system and the midfield makeup, he yeah. wanted a goal threat, which was okay. Christian Carambu, yeah. played for Real Madrid. Mm-hmm. He wanted a, a real good playmaker passer that was Paul Ocon, yeah. who was the Australia captain, yeah, yeah. and he wanted a getter, a really great. A deep playmaker and aggressive player. Yeah. We had Paul Ince. Yeah. As good as, yeah. as <laughs> so as like, as, yeah. okay. Yeah. But anyway, that doesn't that doesn't take my view. He coached he us, Robbie yeah. Earl, from yeah. bottom of the league table to out comfortably out by the end mm. of the season, avoided relegation. Yeah. And I was like, and the fans were like, yeah. wow. Well played. So that yeah. that's a coach. Yeah. And I learned more about the game and about tactical side of things and about defending lines and where they should be in those six months than ever before. I knocked on his door one time, Rob, because. He had an idea about how do we defend corners. He left two people up. They were yeah, split. And I'm yeah. like, why are they? I knocked on his door. For three. Two, why are they split? Three, like, yeah. wouldn't you want them close together? Mm. And he opens his door. Come in. You know, let's yeah. have a chat. And yeah. he got his little tactics board. And he explained to me what his thinking was of mm. playing the two forwards way apart. You know, splitting forwards yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember the details yeah. of it. And like, I, I'm, I think, you know. Yeah. So what a brilliant coach, a brilliant guy. Super respected, fun, jovial, loved, loved the, the crack, the banter, but what a smart tactical coach he was. Yeah. And it, what makes me a little sad is that I know that he kind of retired, I, I guess kind of late-ish, mm. and, he, and he had a dream, I think, to live in Spain. He had yeah. a, a, a hotel or an Airbnb or, or a, a bed and breakfast. And I just feel sad that he didn't get to live and enjoy that as long as what he should should have done, given his amazing career and service Mm -hmm. to the game. So there's nobody that I could speak more highly of in terms of a coach, of a manager, 
Others have different attributes, mm. and I love different managers like Brian Robson for other reasons. Yeah. But in terms of a, of a pure coach, Terry Venables mm. was absolutely top of the tree in my career. And I'm somebody that's a thinker, yeah. you know that. Yeah. And I love that side of the game. Mm. And I learned more under him than anybody else. An absolute yeah. gentleman, and, and it's a sad day for football. Yeah, it's really well said. Just quickly on that, mate, just before we move on, and, 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 and as you say, you know, that means something when it comes from, from your heart like that. We've got a, a league of innovators, Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, Pochettino, mm. those kind. Where would Venables be? Would that be the kind of company he, he, he would... A million percent happy with all that lot. Yeah. Million, he'd, be, he'd, be, he'd be right in that group. Right in yeah. that group in yeah. terms of loving. He would love right now what, what the Premier What's League is. The, like. the, yeah. And what Postecoglou yeah. does it is yeah. beloved Spurs. Yeah. Well, he'd and love that. Am, really, he and, would love yeah. it because that's what he was. And he was way ahead of his time, Rob. Yeah. And that's why he did so well with the England national mm. team because he, he was doing things like that and making teams yeah, a lot better. The, the but it's a good point. Christmas tree, wasn't it? And all that. Yeah, the Christmas yeah, tree yeah, formation. Yeah. He was a thinker and, yeah. and he did great work. And mm. it's a good, interesting point because the Premier League now has got some of the brightest yeah. minds I think we've ever seen, Rob. Mm. And the sure. game is... Ch- I mean, just think of the days where cool. get it get it wide, Long, get it in yeah. the channel. You know, it's so different They're now. Not and today those days, mate. They served as well. They did. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.